Tyler Sells, Carl Darlow, and you're watching Newcastle Fans TV. Hello Newcastle fans TV, welcome to another quick daily video. Tonight I'm asking you lot at home, is the signings of Daryl Murphy and Grant Hanley a waste of money? Right, keep an eye out for a Twitter poll at the end of this video which I'll put on the screens as well. So, uh, let's begin with Daryl Murphy because he was signed towards the back end of uh, August, towards the end, for roughly about £5 million. A lot of Ipswich fans were um, sad to see him go because he scored goals in the Championship level. Um, my initial reaction at the time, I'll be brutally honest, I thought it was a... I was like, oh, I'm not too sure about this one. Um, let's have a look at what the member of the fan cams. Let's have a look at what the fan cams said after the, the, win, the win over Brighton. Yeah, I know about Darren Murphy. I think he's a good player, but he's getting quite Is old the answer? now. I don't think he's good enough because he's getting like too old. So. Think not Darren Murphy. Not Darren Murphy, that's no. the, answer, the, the guy who's been linked. Mm -hmm. Saying that Osprey is looking for a target man, I think we have that in Mitrovic. I know he's got concussion, but... He'll be back next game. Mm -hmm. Mitrovic is our target man, I think. Would... Not Darren Murphy. No, <laughs> Darren Murphy. 33 years old or something. Okie dokie then, so fans not too um, best pleased after the match there about the sign of Darren Murphy. He has come in for a lot of criticism, but to be fair to Darren Murphy, He's played the one game where he started up front in the, in the EFL Cup and then he's got this calf injury which knocked him out, which put him out of action for roughly about, what was it, about 42 days, something like that. He's now back in contention. As soon as he signed for Newcastle, remember he scored for Ireland as well, which was a crucial goal against George, I believe, off the top of my head. So, we know that Dwight Gale is predominantly going to be first choice striker and then it's Mitrovic because Rafa likes to play just the one up top with the number 10 so Ayose Perez is not an out and out striker so him and Diarmi are the num uh, battling for the number 10 which leaves Gale, Mitrovic and uh, Murphy as the three strikers Murphy hasn't really had a look in yet I think It'll start. I think he will start a, few, a couple more games throughout the season. I think you'll see him a lot more from the bench as well, especially Christmas when you have... I know in Newcastle I used to have him two games a week, but Christmas time sometimes you have three in a week as well, where, so you will have to rotate the side as well. Um, in the Premier League, would, would, would I personally want Dal Murphy in the Premier League? I'm going to be honest with you. No, I wouldn't. I don't think he's Premier League quality at all whatsoever. I think he's all right at the Championship. Um, so let me know what he thinks on Daryl Murphy. Let's move on to Grant Hanley. Good two or three weeks that were, we'll put a bit in and Blackburn, we're knocking it back, you know, and then we'll put another bit in and we're knocking it back. But eventually we got one man. Uh, obviously, uh, as you can see now, he was like delighted when he was sat down talking uh, on screen about the move as well because it took a while for him to get there. I generally thought that Grant Hanley would be start to become our third choice uh, centre-back, but because of the excellent form, of Kieran Clark, who has surprised me massively this season. Grant Hanley's now fourth choice centre back. And to be fair, looking at the stats, what he's actually played, he's actually played eight games, more than what I thought he had. Although one of them was an actual uh, only one start in the league, which is, I believe, it was the Fulham game when we got beat 1 0. The other three starts have been in the EFL Cup. He's come under a lot of criticism recently of, Scot of the Scottish media, in particular Chris, Bra Chris Boyd, sorry, who actually slammed him because he's had awful. Um, Defensive displays against Lithuania and Slovenia, I think it was, or Slovakia, I can't remember which one it was. And he wasn't too great against England either. So he's come under a little bit of criticism. I generally thought, like most fans, he would be third choice behind Chancellor Mbemba. And in my opinion, Chancellor Mbemba is the best defender, central defender at the club. And he, because of his mistakes against Wolves, can't get a look in because of the form of Kieran Clark as well. So you're not going to drop Jamal Lassell. So yes, he has scored against QPR. But again, the question is, is he, I don't, for me personally, if he, out of the two, I think Grant Hanley's more valuable than what Darrell Murphy is. Because if Darrell Murphy didn't kick a, kick a ball for the rest of the season, in my opinion, I don't think we'll miss him. Whereas Grant Hanley, because, because of injuries and we've got two positions to fill at centre-back, if something was to happen to the centre-backs, we would need him, at least, at least on the bench. Whereas on the strikers, we can mix it up a little bit because if you've got Mitrovic, you've got Gale, if anything was to happen to them, at least you've got Perez, although he plays in the number 10, as I said earlier on the video, can play up top as well. So we've got a bit of mix, Shad Moe Diarmi could probably do a job as well. And you've also got likes of Sean Longstaff doing brilliantly in the 23s as well. So, all in all, again, uh, the Twitter poll, let's put this out. This is quite surprising you. Uh, a lot of them, a lot of you think on Twitter that he's actual the the pair of them are vital to the Newcastle squad. I would have to agree with you on some extent on that, especially the Grant Hanley one. But Daryl Murphy one, yeah, we've got cover there, which is nice. 
but could that cover go to one of the youngsters as well? Uh, let me know what you think of your thoughts, of course, down there below. And again, just a reminder, the podcast will be out tomorrow and I'll be giving all the links out on social media. And of course, uh, a quick, quick, quick thing, the Chronicle have been doing behind the scenes uh, footage of the coaching staff behind Newcastle. That was going to be tonight's video, but unfortunately, I'll wait, I'll wait for that for a couple of days because of the podcast news as well. Right, thank you very much for watching Newcastle Fans TV and we'll see you later.